Yo, today we here at my event. We're shooting for an episode, The Lineup, okay? Our history then and now. Hey, y'all, this is Keith Brown, and right now you're watching The Lineup. Come on. I mean, that, you know, that goes deep to that mistrust and... I mean, shit, it was some of our, our own people, our own leaders lead us astray, too. Yeah. So that, 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 that's the worst. That gets deep, too. That's the worst. Yeah. And guess what? That feeling, like, even if you didn't know, if you wasn't there at that time, like, just to know that uh, those type of people exist, it kind of stay on your mind. Like, man, who is in that ear telling them where we stay at? Who and they get telling them what gas station we shopping like? Who told like, all our money like, banking at? Who exactly. Told somebody somebody tell them yeah, exactly. something. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of that, it's exactly. like every time I look up, man, I see one of my strong brothers going down the road, man, down the road. Jail, jail, jail. And I know for me growing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always felt like, well, if you ain't never been to jail, then you ain't really all the way. It's this private prison system, man, like a modern day form of slavery. And I, I say modern day, but it's been going on forever. I mean, since way back in the day. Yeah. Talking about some 1840 something. Like when they began, it? and I'm talking about this what? big deal. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you said, so like, what? So private what? prison system. Oh, yeah. That, 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 they, when it became a commodity, it became a problem. Definitely. I totally agree with that. But, you know, that's your boy. That's your boy. That's your boy Biden. That's your boy. You ain't voted this shit, then your dog. You, you get out of there. I you mean, go, I'm going to be You ain't want Trump, dude. I'm you ain't want Trump. Right? Hey, look, niggas ain't want Trump. So anyway, they had to go vote for Biden, huh? For what is work, I didn't all the way know about the, the, him being that big and on the private prison well the architect mm -hmm. of mass incarceration that's just me you didn't know that's, he was I ain't the architect. and guess what when you i, I, I personally feel, i personally feel like any kind of especially when we're dealing with america like you, it's hard to touch the top tier basis of what's going on without acknowledging how where it started at so yeah, it's like, oh, Joe Biden's the architect, but it's like, man, come on, man, Angola been open since the 1800s. That's oh, a prison in Louisiana but, but where they've been slaving these folks since they could. Oh, y'all can't have them be slaved no more? You can't. Okay, so only still a piece of gun. We're going to take them to jail and slave them up. You can't be like, you can't justify what he did by saying they've been. No, I'm saying, where he got, where did Joe Biden and the come on, Sam Bill Clinton? I know y'all love Bill Clinton. I could smell some Bill Clinton lovers. Man, I just no. Nah, they all was nah, there who, now. Who, who? No, I'm just saying, among you know, I mean, our community, we love it. Nah, I, I mean, I, I, I felt like I've always had an understanding about the Democratic Party versus the Republican Party. I've Ooh. always claimed to be independent. You know what I'm saying? I've always claimed to be independent. But I, I, you ask 90 percent of Black people why they vote Democrat, and they'll say because my parents did. Nobody has their own interpretation for themselves yeah. on why they decide to go with the Democratic Very Party. Mm -hmm. Because in all true actuality, Ooh. in my opinion. I mean, but they all people, right? Facts. Democrat, you know Republican, they conservative, they human they beings. Well, well, they entitled, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he was feeling, if Joe Biden felt like this is something that could have helped at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, it only sucked because it was my uncle's right. What do you mean? He's when he like, was helping do the mass incarceration in the 90s. No, nah, who did it help? I mean, that was just, they've been, man, they, if, if you go back even through the Constitution, it was all based to keep, they, they when they did the Constitution say black people, for well, slavery mm -hmm. is in there unless you incarcerated. Yeah. Then they started right. using, so then right. they started mm -hmm. using black codes back in like 18, Andrew Johnson, back in yeah. 18, they started using black codes as other ways of locking people up. Then locking us up for jaywalking, dumb, dumb shit like dumb that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So they got a history. So you know, history. Uh, so the that they penal system has always been a way to get free labor. Like that's always mm -hmm. been they they way of doing that. And I'm only saying when you when you dealing with a country that birthing generations with that mindset. Mm. I mean, who would you mad at Joe Biden because he writing something down in the office? Yeah, nigga. He ain't start. I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, mad. I'm saying not you. 
I'm saying as a people, it's like it's hard to be mad at Joe if we ain't mad at uh, the first dude from Ku Klux Klan. He started the first jail. He was I mean, running in Mississippi like a hundred years. And he was, I'm just saying, like, we gotta be mad at both. I mean, shit, well, if you wanna go there, the Democratic Party started the KKK. That's true, too. I didn't mm. say that, but if that's how you wanna go, I'm just saying, what year did that happen? That was in 1869, too, right around okay, the same time. Around the same time. Sad, sad, look, sad, dark time. Dark time. See, but, but the difference is, is that, you know what I'm saying, okay, we're aware of those things, and then they wrote something called the Civil Rights, you understand? And then they, we started to receive our rights. You know what I'm saying? And then you find people like Joe Biden was like, hmm, there is a way around that. You know what I'm saying? And we'll just monetize the prison system and we'll write a bill that the slightest thing is going to put anybody behind prison. But they, they targeted us. That's why we got a generation, this, this generation that we're dealing with, in my opinion, savages. Because they so you themselves. know, so we are all in agreement that the community has been affected tremendously Absolutely. by yeah, mass what? incarceration. Yeah. Okay, so we can all sing that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. generational. We've yeah. yeah. all been yeah. affected. Yeah. Everybody yeah. lost an uncle or a cousin or a right. nephew. You know what I'm saying? No telling how much money we're getting spent on the family down the road. And I just feel like mm. as much stuff that go on in the prisons is like. Damn, do y'all want to leave? <laughs> Look, I ain't say do. I didn't say do the do the people who uh, the, 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 the people who in the jail want to leave. The people who run the jail, like you ain't gotta go to jail. Yeah. I'm gonna let you do yeah. <laughs> man, you ain't gotta go to jail, man. I'm gonna let you do it. You need to stay up in, dude. We need to stick together. A big business, it, man. Big, it's a big, big. Business. What exactly. is By America? America it is. Period. Big LLC. Big and I always was, said, if you if you in America and not. Practicing business first, it's kind of yeah. like you like the stepchild that like don't want to get yeah. with it. Like you yes. could, like you, you we we the stepchildren, but it's like you could walk like everybody else in the house, Johnny, mm -hmm. or you could stay like I'm different. And I'm different. Like what? what? How are you different? Cause I guarantee you, I can relate. Your grandfather to something. He ain't that different. Mm -hmm. He ain't you either, though. You stand for something maybe different, but that's how long the lineage is to me. It's like. That long for that many people, for me to have that many predecessors, somebody could have slipped up. Hey, I can't even be mad at that. America is a big business, right? Huge. And and Donald Trump was running it like a business. Mm -hmm. He he was good at the business part of it and bad at the public relation mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this this election this year was a peace of mind election. Okay. We had two cancers, and we just was trying to figure out which one going to kill us fast. Yeah, damn one right. One. We got rid of that. One, you know what <laughs> yeah. I'm and that's the truth about it. Because yeah. it wasn't on he's a better person or he's a better person. No. So it's now, cool. do y'all think that things are going to be better specifically in the black community? No. Yeah. I'm not talking about all of. No. Okay. <laughs> no. No. That, that, I ain't gonna lie, that had me draw sometimes when it come to vote. They like, no matter who I vote for, specifically the black community, which where I live in, just don't get better. Yeah. So, so if we compare, my bad, if we compare history then and history now, the difference between history then was if you go back in time, we were, we own, like we had the majority of the banks were black owned, majority of our own. Wealth was now, and what right time? In because I'm Again, only 30, with, so I don't okay, know. Wait, so my, man, my life never, it, it, that never happened they, in my when, life. When they started to change, when they started to try to break up what we was doing was in like the early, like 1865, 69, the Freedom oh, right. Act. Yeah. It, like we had Frederick Douglass yeah. spend his own money to keep the Freedom Banks open. Like he was a farmer. They, all that, it was, the, it was a lot of black Republican party. They was in the, they was legislating over hundreds. Yeah, and hundreds back then, like they. So they, the blacks were Republicans. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The de yeah, definitely. The Confederate Democrat Party started in the South, but and you know what that means. Yeah. Okay. But the point is, though, the difference between then and now is entrepreneurship. They was entrepreneurs. They, they, they understood that to be in America was is a capitalistic country, and it was based on that way of doing business. But we exceeded because we had all the trade. We was here, this is our land. So we understood what grew here. The, you know, we was already under, we got that part. But that's the difference between then and now. That sounds smart. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the, the cure. Yeah, no, like, say the cure? I mean, just for like, if you're wondering, like in the, uh, in the uh, uh, failing 
black economy. It's like it wasn't always feeling like we it. Our economy ain't feeling. We a trillion dollar industry. We, they, but they we don't run it though. But we don't run it. I feel like I feel like we at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to ownership. We just think we at the ownership. We yeah. How we ownership, bro? We we just spend our money freely. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm saying ownership. I don't want to confuse people watching. Ownership. When it comes to ownership. But that's as much as the I, black I, people I spend. That. That's- I-